morning YouTube, day, afternoon, whatever it is where you are. Uh, my name is Natasha. Welcome to Just One More Orchid. Forget the looks. It's about 100 plus degrees. I'm not going to even go into next digits. So today, this nonsense needs to be finally cleaned and fixed. I cannot do this anymore. So today is a big clean up day and I'm taking you with me. Let's go. So slowly I was, I'll put you here for a day. I'll put you there for a day. You can sit here for a day and then this happened. So we're going to repot, we're going to regroup because right here, as you can see, way more sun than normally. So you can see my puffies are struggling uh, right there. And then they had way too many pets with them. So we're going to clean up, clean up, everybody clean up. This girl is doing her thing. Mm -hmm. So the first thing, let me introduce you to my new battery operated sprayer that I just put together. You got to charge it overnight with the C-type cord. And I loaded it with this fertilizer from Palmer Orchids. Their fertilizers are great. So, because I'm sick and tired of that other one. This one, 8 liters, is approximately a little over 2 gallons. So, 2 teaspoons. And we are going. There's, of course, the thing to put it on your shoulder. But, oh, of course, my shoulders are not as good. So, here you are. You're the first witnesses. Does it work? Hello. Yeah, it does. It took it a little bit. So there's about four different settings. Uh, the heads, I mean. And it does a great job. I'm sure I'm, I can adjust it. And it will probably... I will need probably two for my whole collection. But at least I don't have to pump it. Carry it like with that... <gasps> Brother Chang is having a baby yay here eat up baby so this I'm gonna do first because it's early uh, well early 11 in my books and then after I'm gonna start cleaning up clearing up and repotting this thing works great I like it brother Chang has a baby Yay. So there's also re mounting, let's call it. This thing was sitting on a piece of the granite, with, which rotted, of course. And I really don't like this piece of wood anymore. So I'm going to take it off of it. And I even have the name. This is one of the Florida Sun Coast. Beautiful, she just bloomed. Look at her. So I'm gonna take it off of this piece of wood. I don't like it. It's really see? And I'm gonna give her a new mount. So let's go. Okay, so when I mounted it, I attached it with the zip tie as usual. It's actually a miracle. I see it right there. You know, at this point, maybe I don't even bother. It kind of started growing in two directions, if you can see. So I'm just going to take this off. And for those who is very sensitive, the request is not to watch. Ugh! Okay, zip ties in a way. <laughs> Still. So, and it will come off. And the reason why I'm doing this is because all those roots are rotten. They, yeah, this is very rated R remounting so those roots as you can see they're yucky they nothing to worry about and they are not you see so I'm gonna clean it up and put it on the nice beautiful mount and the other one looks kind of let's see it just comes off so always when you see a mount and you're afraid that you will let me see if I boom Michael Jordan envies me uh, just see at the condition of the roots, the wood, and the plant itself. So this we could do two, but I think maybe, yeah, I'll do two mounts. Here we go. 
boom I missed happens of course before I'm gonna mount it I'm gonna clean all this BO EO right there and I'm unstoppable I have a brand new set of clippers and I don't care those roots are yucky your point is to have the roots the closest to the mount so it's probably gonna go like this let's go find a good piece of wood I have some so there are just a few in my possession they're all sitting outside this one is nice maybe it's very heavy though that's why I don't I have lots of wood because as you know I do my art and I always collect wood so I don't know if you think that's it that's not there is another pile right there which there's even shells because I have lots of plants and I never go ahead with them I think this one will be a good one right it's pretty and if I want I can actually make it flat over there and it will be a standing piece if I need it for display or something so yes ma'am you're going on this one so my plan with making it standing up is a future but for now we need to make a hole right here and I'm the girl with the drill somebody stop me uh, I'm not gonna embarrass myself and do it in front of you <laughs> uh, but I'll make a hole and then we'll continue and so hook is done now we're gonna just put it right here right here maybe maybe right here I, I like it right there better like this Can you see and perhaps the other one the other part of that plant will go right there and then we have one massive beautiful mount it's a gorgeous plant I think it's called Victor Elliot by now and I think there's even a new spike coming out or bloom so let me do it and then I'll show you the final product I'm pretty low on my zip ties I just noticed but I have this tape uh, it's, it's called tomato I think tape or whatever you call it and it works really well because it stretches so it lets you uh, it stretches to the certain point okay but it doesn't break and it's very very cool thing to use sometimes if you have like wider mount like a tree or something like that so we're using this today now this young lady comes from Plantillo, Larkidia here in Sarasota and I had her for a little bit but when I bought her she already needed a repotting and I know this will grow real big and you can see sun damage is here because I'm emptying that um, bench over there so basically all these roots are out so I feel like I can cut it right there and not even worry about anything else and put it in this spot so you know some people put peanuts on the bottom I use regular lava rocks that you can buy in any uh, you know gardening centers or big box stores I just put it on the bottom a little bit and then I don't know I would love to put lava rock but maybe she wants something more fancy than that so as I'm a hoarder of everything I have this I believe this was a mix for the paths uh, from of course OFE OFE uh, you've seen I was there for the sale by the way I'm planning on being a vendor there in August again I believe they are planning on doing it sometime uh, I want to say 18th 19th of August and I'll just put this in between 
This is like a Shimbukia type of thing. So we'll make it a little heavier. I'm going to just stick her in there and cover the rest of it with the special orchid mix number one. Okay, so this is a big pot, you'll say, but these orchids are very, very robust growers. So this is fine for her. She starts right here somewhere, so I tried to move her this way. I didn't want to cut more. I already cut this one, that one, and I put the metal stick in there, and as you can see, gave her a little bow. So I'm going to put her somewhere where she's not going to be disturbed. And you will see those roots going to show up like tomorrow. Let's go over here, Lady Jane. Okay. Good luck. Let me move this annoying member of this family. Here you are. Okay. So I've kept go. I will be going. But let me show you a little bit what's blooming. Because repotting is fun to watch but not for too long look at this lady so this is one of those new crosses from Palmer this leaf looks horrible I'm just gonna cut it off this is mine you'll see lots of others people are posting them oh and she smells yep she smells and she smells good and camera is jealous of her looks and doesn't want to focus. Beautiful. Going back. Bye-bye. <sighs> These. This lady. This is her. Oh, my hands are lovely. This is her day like seven. You can see those veins. Those are gorgeous. I had this orchid for a while. I got it from Sundance which was a while ago as a baby come on camera there this might be alba well it isn't so uh it's sitting in my very first so it happened again my camera overheated so on my very first mount faces that i've attempted should make one more and she's been in there since her childhood infant years and she finally bloomed beautiful girl what about you oh today everyone smells this smells like really floral beautiful if you only knew how hot it is i cannot even turn the camera i'm like dripping and this i'm not gonna say i grew it i bought it at ofi's Last event, by the way, if you guys are thinking that's just a little nursery, the variety of plants in there was crazy. Uh, and this plant I bought, I want to say, for some 25 or $30. They were not big growers there. They were all small companies, uh, family businesses. Mostly they resell. They don't, you know produce it themselves but variety look at this huge i strongly recommend plus it's ofi it's always like you're visiting your family members the atmosphere is great after that you've seen my video with nelson i visited nelson it was super fun so next event i hope to see you all there this is one of my favorites from brethren hamlin hamlin's talawa one of those that blooms non-stop. Talawa, by the way, means badass. Did I say it? Yes, I did. Okay. So here's one of those. Remember, I did repotting. I don't know if I mentioned. And I put it as an experiment on that fern. And this was the condition of the plant when I put it in. <sighs> it's been two months. This is the condition of the plant Not on the top. It's blooming. I got this from Accent. And the only reason I got it because of the flowers, as you can see. Okay, next. 
you're blooming like a good girl or boy. Also from Accent, mounted on one of my plaques. I think it's a boy, it's an eagle, so I'd imagine it's a boy. The sun is going down, so we're not gonna talk about you. And here you are. This is one of my oldest daughter plants that didn't want them anymore, so I took them back. Beautiful dancing ladies, I'd imagine, in the basket. It's not really crazy about that basket, but it's it's going it's blooming what else do we care right so and for the final because you can hear i'm out of breath it's so hot <laughs> i'll show you so me and marta visited gold coast orchid alliance uh meeting and they had the bingo orchid bingo and the only plant on the whole table was this that i wanted and guess what we won it we won it and i was ecstatic this is from Palmer. Not that they had bad plants there. They had amazing plants. Here's Martha. We actually won two. But the lady at our table, at Twyla, didn't win nothing. So we gave her the dendrobium. So that everyone is happy. Beautiful, huh? I strongly guys recommend if you have an orchid society around you join them it's a lot of fun i am a current president of englewood orchid society and i can tell you i can guarantee you you're not going to be regretted check out our uh, facebook englewood orchid society englewood area orchid society and join and have fun this one i need to and i said it probably 300 times i lost the tag i know this one is from palmer as well like, I don't know anybody from there. I need to ask Ashley. By the way, they were our speakers last month. Jake, uh, Ashley's husband, he did an incredible job. That was his first speaking ever. And we're really honored that he picked us. <laughs> uh, and it was fun. So, that thing. Can I reach it even? This is the name. This is from Hamlin. I can guarantee you that. But, oh, God. It's so far away. Come here. Okay, got you. There she is. Beautiful. And ping. Two. <laughs> Happy, happy, joy, joy. Unlike me, I am like melting and I never thought that I could melt. <laughs> so I think if you really like me, you should let me go now. Oh, Ollie Palmer, Palmer look, we Ollie Palmer, the daughter of Jake and Ashley Palmer. <gasps> oh, I forgot my favorite. Okay, that will be our final plan for today. I'll be doing what I'm supposed to be doing here is taking care of my orchids instead of blah, 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 blah with you. Look at this baby. Do you see the smile? Isn't that cute? I don't know where I got it from, but definitely either Redland or Tamayami. My guess would be Wilson or I don't know. This is maybe somebody else, but it's incredible. It's loving my mount. It's super healthy. Look at those leaves. Look at that root went through and came out. <laughs> yeah. And uh, if it smells it's something very, very light at this point. So I'm going to go and dig in. And after I'm done with all this lovely amount of work, you will see my final. Okay, I'm the 
final shot. I decided I'm not going to push my luck anymore. It's, it's talking and it's looking. So, final. I did a lot. I found lots of babies that got new homes. You've seen some. There's that one. There's my experiment where the with the bulb of film from Cruel Smith that loves twisting and turning. I put the plant in there, put the little stick for it not to fall out, and kind of put it around. I will put more moss on it. Not right now. My shoulders are burned. Uh, <laughs> so, and I did here and there lots of mounts from the plants that are some of them are fine but some of them are just not doing well so in the moss uh so i am giving them a chance to dry out and we have a new stick with you which is unidentified phalaenopsis it's like a last chance a totem <laughs> like you know i already have one with the blc's and stuff then i also repot it a lot if you see the stuff you know i repotted it in my new pot by the way there's some stuff on the website you can go and double check there's especially a lot of these little pots these little pots are good like that or you can mount on them as well you probably have seen my okay let's not be attitude -y. okay so i also repotted martha's because martha's didn't look good and their stuff i repotted this one i love this plant i grabbed it from whatever like home depot i think but i think these leaves were absolutely worth 15 dollars then i wanted to show you this pot here i have a it this way this leaf is not doing good but they think there are spikes in there and it loves it it blooms constantly i also tried something else with the fabulous phalaenopsis from blue ridge orchids i made this kind of mount so it's a piece of wood and i just put phalaenopsis on the top of it let's see from another side so it kind of looks like this we'll see uh, i'll put a little moss on it for to start there's another martha by the way yeah so enough is enough plus do you hear that right <laughs> it concurs my carnivore dinner is ready so so i'm gonna go and eat and you can see my shoulders are burnt so uh and we will talk to you soon the rain is about to start you have a great great day bye bye don't forget to like and subscribe